When I'm asked, is Biomutant a good game, I find that I have to stop and think before I can answer. Certainly it has both good and bad qualities, but it's always about the small things in games this large. After all, those are the things you'll be doing and seeing over and over. This video is a short observation on the three small things Biomutant could do just a little bit better. My name is Nathan, welcome to This and That Gaming, let's get going. Biomutant tried something interesting in how it chooses to present its world and characters. For every action or conversation, there is a narration all voiced by the same gentleman. At first, this is super charming and tends to give the game a storybook feeling similar to the Fable series. Unfortunately, an hour later, you'll be hearing him speak up for about the hundredth time and the charm has completely worn off. Simply adding subtitles to dialogue or having the narrator speak over characters as they grunt and squeak would speed up the pace of the game considerably and, more importantly, prevent people from giving up from being annoyed into a coma. To call the combat in Biomutant a cluster f would be a massive understatement. The core of the problem is two things. First of which is that the camera is way too close to the action for you to be able to see the frankly crazy amount of enemies you'll be fighting in most brawls. Backing the camera up so we can stop getting sucker punched by some d we couldn't see off screen would be a big improvement. The second problem is that it's very difficult to eliminate priority targets like the big guys or flying enemies. This can be fixed easily by just adding the option to lock on to a single enemy until they are dead. Exploring the massive open world of Biomutant is easily my favorite part of the game. It's beautiful, and it's artfully designed. That's why it kills me to have to admit that the in-game map is not very useful in aiding you in exploration. For starters, you can only place custom waypoints on quest markers or fast travel points. Which is just like, why? They're already marked. Just let us place markers wherever we want so we can go exploring. Secondly, each location has a list of things to find and do before it's considered complete. While you're standing in the location, you can see what remains to be done there, but when you hover over it in the world map as you're somewhere else in the world, you cannot see what locations still have things remaining. This combined with the frankly absurd difficulty of locating some of the objectives makes the game a nightmare for completionists like me. Well, that's the video. What do you say, Experiment 101? Want to step up? If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a subscribe. Also, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on Twitch. I'll leave a link down in the description, so please follow me there. If you have any ideas of your own about small changes that could make the game better, please post it in the comments. Be well and be kind. I'll see you guys next time.